Hello, my sweet and sassy soul sisters. I thought I would come on because uh, one of you asked for a flip through of the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle by Abiolo Abrams. We have a beautiful cover here. And the back says, tap into the sacred wisdom of the past. Our ancestors have much to teach us about ourselves and our place in this life. This 45 card oracle deck is designed to help you connect with the spirits of your ancestors, the divine, and the harmonies present throughout the universe. Featuring five suits of ancestral figures, each corresponding to the elements of Aze, fire, water, air, and earth. Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle is the perfect tool for those looking to deepen their spirituality and connect with the wisdom and experience of those who came before them. By Abiola Abrams and art by Destiny Powell. Here's the inside of the front cover. Whether or not you know your ancestors, they know you. Spirit was our first ancestor. Oh, I love my cover. It's like teal and blue and gold. That's pretty. Greetings. So we have an introductory message here about our ancestors, how ancestors communicate. What if I don't know my blood family or ancestors? What about reincarnation? What if my ancestors were terrible people? What if my DNA results differ from family lore? Going deeper, how to honor your ancestors. Blessing your secrets of the ancestors oracles, oracle cards. Suggested secrets of the ancestor oracle spreads. So we have some spreads here. The family karma tree spread, interesting. And about the secrets of the Ancestor Oracle cards, about the three arcanas. So the, I do know I've listened to one of her videos about these cards. And they are a bit tarot based, slightly. So she has a major arcana, which is kind of the Ascended Elders arcana. And then there's the Community Circle arcana and the Ancient Sages arcana about the five elements of the community circle arcana, about the five suits, reversals, the tarot connection, and then we get into the cards. There is no picture, which is totally okay, but we have a summary, the ancestral memory, ancestral medicine, shadow aspect, and tarot correspondence for each card. Let's get into these cards and check them out. Whoa. <laughs> so I guess first of all, I'll give you an idea of the weight of the card. I need to learn what the different names of the finishes are and how to tell. This is, again, like the last one, not glossy, but not matte either. It's nice in between, kind of a satin Finish to me is how I would describe it, and they are definitely a decent weight. Make sure I'm on screen here. All right, so they are numbered. This one is zero. Boo Boo the Fool, Possibilities and Potential. Number one, The Conjure Woman, Manifestation. Did you see this one good? I just realized there was a glare. Let me 
make sure. There we go. The High Priestess, Intuition and Knowingness. The Matriarch, Nurture the Harvest. The Patriarch, Unapologetic. The Shaman, Trust the Path. The Twins, Conscious Connection. The Monarch, Victorious. The Chiefess, Strength Tested. The Loner, Isolation and Introspection. The Goddess Circle, Wheel of Change. The Judge, Poetic Justice. The Martyr, Sacrifice and Self Reflection. Jumbi, Total Disruption. The Peacemaker, Persistent Patience. The Trickster, Ego and Excess. The Deviant, Chaos and Destruction. The Star, Spiritual Rebirth. The Shadow, Trials and Tribulations. The Griot, Blist. The Huntress, Soul Awakening. The Ancestral Force, Completion. Altar of Fire, Good Juju. This was the artwork on our art card. Root of Fire, Risk It All. Creature of Fire, Choose Freedom. Mother of Fire, Shine and Rise. Father of Fire, Passion Ignited. Altar of Water, Love Overflowing. Root of Water, Highly Sensitive. This is our uh, art on the front of the box. Creature of Water, Creative Expression. Mother of Water, Emotional Self-Care. Father of Water, Balance and Harmony. Altar of Air, Clarity. Root of Air, Explore. Creature of Air, Speed. Mother of Air, Boundaries. Father of Air, Leadership. Altar of Earth, Limitless Prosperity. Root of Earth, Inspired Action. Creature of Earth, Take Charge. Mother of Earth, Fertile Ground. Father of Earth, Generosity. Mother God, Miracles in Motion. Father God, Radical Truth. The Unknown Enigma is our last card. Beautiful deck. Let's go ahead and do a card pull and so we can read and see what the guidebook is like. Just don't uh, 
These don't glide as easily as the Animal Guide Tarot, but I think it's just because they're brand new because as I work them, they loosen up a little bit. So they just need to be worked. They're brand new. The High Priestess, Intuition and Knowingness is what we got. Let's read about it. <clears throat> Stop searching for answers, meaning, and power everywhere but inside yourself. The powerful High Priestess Ancestor comes, from, comes forward to say that it is time to go deep within. There is something that you know that you may even have been in denial about for a long time. You are a child of the moon, connected to infinite intelligence. Remember that. Insist that your voice be heard. No more people pleasing. You know what you need to know. Trust your own voice and your intuition. That still small voice is us. We, your ancestors, are the divine and so are you. And so are you. Ancestral memory. The High Priestess is depicted as Egyptian Goddess Hathor, showing us as above, so below. Hathor, the Cow Goddess, represents love, fertility, beauty, and pleasure. The High Priestess stands in a lake of mysteries at night. This indicates the unknown. This energy can be frightening when we are not in a state of trust and belief. The Ancestral Medicine. Honor your sensitivity. Be honest with yourself and others. Allow your intuition to guide you on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth, unlocking profound insights along the way. Shadow Aspect. And this is if you get the card reversed. You are feeling blocked and unable to hear your inner guidance. In many ways, this is because you are fearful of what that guidance is telling you. Get quiet and go within. Allow repressed feelings to come to the surface. Hiding from yourself is making you miserable. The tarot correspondence is the high priestess and declaration. My intuition is my direct channel to divine spirit. Beautiful, I love it. I love that message that we got today. Tell me what you think of this deck down below. I'm super happy to have received this deck and I can't wait to start using it. Well, thank you for hanging out and I hope that you all have a magical day. Bye.